Welcome everyone to another video about this Power Mac 8100. When I rediscovered it on the attic, I did not realize how high-end it was when it came out. And only when I made the first videos and did a little bit more research, I realized this was not only the very first Power Mac, it was even top-of-the-line Power Mac. So the first generation Power Macintosh shipped as in 6100, 7100 and the high-end top-of-the-line was this 8100-80. The introductory price was 4200 US dollar, approximately equivalent to nearly 7000 US dollar today, just about the amount that Apple is asking for the current Trashcan Mac Pro. So next, obviously, we want to see Linux running on this machine. For this I loaded and burned the even done officially by Apple microkernel Linux thing, where they ported Linux to the Mach kernel and got this running on their poor PC hardware. So. This disk right here plays this files in control panel folder. Control panels are here. Of course, really done a little bit funny, I wonder if they mean this. Okay, probably. So, this is system folder. Control panels. Yeah, so here are control panels. So, we move this here, I guess and place in extensions extensions I guess those two put in preferences I wonder this Lino comes just like this. Hmm. Okay, now we can run this MK Linux in the control panels and it gives us a startup selection that we can customize here also. And um, maybe we just click restart now and see what happens. It's reading something from the CD room, maybe. I know it's booting Mac OS. What a pity. This uh, screen happens sometimes on reboot. Uh, still not sure why it sometimes happens. Probably something fishy with this. Uh, wait a second, why is this now? MK Linux, that is uh, interesting. I thought it. Okay, we really got Linux. I thought it booted macOS. That is interesting. Cool. That is uh, obviously the first time I see Linux. Don't know, should we just... Bootstrap task cannot find configuration file. Hmm. Um, can we already do something? Yeah, so Linux is possible. Just a little bit annoying with this macOS based bootings, but certainly plenty of future potential to mess around with this. Vintage and museum worthy system with this first ever power mac and first generation power pc imagine that parallel universe of ours where apple did not purchase next computer but instead brought a microkernel based desktop linux to the market and the problem is of course that all this documentation is bit rotting away on the internet no actually it says root device htc okay let's see maybe this root device equals some scarce cd rom that is indeed Booting more here. Oh, indeed it does. Crazy. Microkernel Linux release one. Okay. Do we have virtual consoles? Somewhere here. No. Alt tab between elements. No. In English. Mac US standard. Local CD room. It's of course. A little bit funny that they didn't modify the Red Hat there from this Red Hat installer. Anyway, we don't have enough space on this hard drive. But um, yeah, totally motivating and awesome to see Linux running on this vintage and noteworthy machine. Yeah, but that's it for today. I need more SCSI adapters and hard drives and things like this. And also I try to keep the videos shorter. My impression is that most people don't like the long videos. 
However, in any case, it would be awesome if you leave in the comments below what you like and dislike so that I know what is worth filming. And um, don't forget to share, like and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon for all of the next technical videos to come. Actually, we've got terminals here with uh, Apple left and right. So we have some lock here. Built in 2000, by the way, only 18 years old. And GCC 2.952, how I remember that days. And um, terminal here.